بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم بیر فرنس ویلکم تو اندر ویڈیو لیکچر بائی کامی بیر جی ان دس ویڈیو لیکچر ویڈیو لیکچر ویڈیو لیکچر ویڈیو لیکچر ویڈیو لیکچر ویڈیو لیکچر ان دی پریویس ویڈیو لیکچر ایف یو کارز ریمیمبر وی ٹاکٹ ابوٹ دی گرین اور سائٹس اوکی ماسٹ سیلز سو وٹ از ماسٹ سیل ماسٹ سیل از آلسو یو نو ایٹ از انوالڈ ان اور ایمینو سسٹم ایس ویل But this mast cells is usually activated in the hypersensitivity reaction and it is usually activated in the allergic reaction or we can say anaphylactic reaction means type 1 uh, hypersensitivity reaction this mast cells is activated on that type 1 what, uh, In this video I am going to talk about the mast cell structure function and their origination and the development of the mast cell as well So let's explain First of all let's uh, see how the mast cells will be look like so mast cells are usually you know uh, it is usually in a circle form and they have also what they have also the nucleus that they contain so this is the nucleus and they have different kinds of the granules let me draw each of the granules so they have different kinds of vesicles okay now each vesicles inside the muscle or we call it granules contain different kinds of the chemical now these dots are what these dots represent the chemicals now these are what these are the chemicals or these are the uh, you know a kinds of chemical which are stored in each granules of the mast cell okay this mast cell as i told you may be activated in type 1 hypersensitivity i already explained the type 1 hypersensitivity and i discussed this mast cell function in type 1 hypersensitivity in much more detail but still I want to explain it uh, in this video again because it is a separate video of this mass cell now what actually happened this mass cell is usually you know uh, just like the basophils why? basophil is also involved in the hypersensitivity and this mass cell is also involved in the hypersensitivity moreover this mass cells are usually present in the different tissues we can say that it is present usually in the let me write it is usually present in the blood vessels blood vessels it is usually present in the mucous membrane mu mucosa membrane mucosa membrane of what mucosa membrane of lungs mucosa membrane of nose mouth digestive tract tract and we have also you know a conjectiva con tiva. so inside each tissues the mast cells are present in a large number but the mast cells you know it is not in an active form the activation may be possible whenever this whenever IgE, IgE antibodies are bind on it what actually happened this mast cells have a receptors present on their surface as I am drawing now this is the receptor of what this is the receptor of mast cell we usually call it FC epsilon receptors FC epsilon receptors why because here the IgE antibody bind so here the IgE antibody are bind so these are what these are the IgE antibodies but still the mast cell is not activated what actually happened for the activation of the mast cell or we can say for the function when the mast cell are ready to perform their function first of all this IgE antibodies are, are bound to this FC epsilon receptor once this IgE antibody are bind here then still it is not activated what actually happened for the activation here the allergen molecule should be bind here allergen or we can say pathogens pathogens or allergen or we can say antigen must be bind with this antibodies so once it is bind with the antibody so there is a cross linkage occur as you are watching this antibody and this antibody are cross linked with each other by the binding of this antigen once the cross linkage has occurred then it provide a signal inside the cell after that this cell is activated the cytoplasmic organelle is the you know we can say that uh, the cytoskeleton uh, and the cytoskeleton are also you know it is activated due to this way these granules are reached to the plasma membrane area 
and these granules are fused at the plasma membrane area and finally these cells are you know you know fused or we can say this cell finally die or end up so these cells maybe end up when these granules are fused what actually happened, each granule contains different kinds of chemicals, so let me write the, each of the chemicals. They contain histamine, histamine, they contain heparin, heparin, they contain serotonin, serotonin, they contain leukotrin, leukotrin, so these kinds of the chemicals or these kinds of the you know chemicals they contain inside each granules now this histamines when released then they can cause vasodil uh, we can say vasodilation and smooth muscle contraction they cause what they cause vasodilation and smooth muscle contraction moreover this leukotrienes act as a chemotactic factor chemo chemotactic factors what does it mean it means that they call upon the basophils and these basophils will further you know kill each of the pathogens uh, so this is you know the function of this uh, mast cells okay you know this mast cells is not survive in the blood screen it is present at that specific area, means blood vessel, mucosa, membrane, lungs, nose, uh, mouth, digestive tract, conjunctiva. At that area it is present. At that area it is mature. At that area when there is an infection occurs, so this mass cells may be activated at that area. But it is not present inside the bloodstream. Remember, this is very important thing. This is not present in the bloodstream. One thing more, how this mass cell is get activated? Or we can say, uh, not activation, how this mass cells are originated where this mast cells are developed usually as you remember we talked in hematopoiesis this mast cells is also you know synthesized inside the bone marrow so what actually happened inside the bone marrow you know, uh, this mast cells let's suppose inside the bone marrow we have a cell let me draw here M cells now this stem cells produce what this stem cell produce uh, uh, cells which we usually call that myelite stem cells now this is what this is the myelite stem cells after the myelite stems one, once the myelite stem cells are produced then this myelite stem cells is further produced what they further produce another cells which we usually call that potato mast cell precursor so once potato mast cell precursor are produced so finally what we get we get this mast cells okay so that's how the mast cells are activated now once the mast cells is activated inside the bone marrow or we can say once the mast cells is developed or synthesized inside the bone marrow then this mast cells is reached to these tissues to this area for the maturation now once they reach to that area so they this mass cells is mature and whenever there is any infection chances or whenever there is pathogen get internalized so this mass cells will activate it and ultimately kill it okay so although mass cells is not usually required for uh, our body but still it can create hypersensitive duration inside our body okay so i already explained this mass cells in uh, my future video in my previous videos lecture means i explain it in the hypersensitivity if you miss that video so it is present into my channel so you can watch it uh, in more details okay so i hope you understand about this video if there is any kind of questions in your mind so you can write it into a comment inshallah i will give you answer as soon as possible if you like this video so make sure to hit the like button share this video and also subscribe the channel to get more interesting tutorials like that thank you so much take care bye